On this Two Cent Tuesday, I'm going to show how when you're packing, you can turn all this to this. Keep watching. On this Two Cent Tuesday, I wanted to talk about packing cubes and I've done a couple of different brands and I've been trying them and I just wanted to give you our thoughts on which ones that we like the best. In the past, I've used the Tripped brand, which is, a, if you don't know or not, it's some people on YouTube that came up with their own packing cubes. Now these are $50 and you get six pieces. Then I wanted to try the Sweet Nomad. And these are $35 and you get six pieces. Now the Tripped one, it comes with a laundry bag, a shoe bag, two smaller bags, and two bigger bags. Where the Sweet Nomad comes with a travel bag, a small bag, two large bags, and an extra large bag. Quality wise, I feel like they're really close to being the same. I can't tell you any difference that the Tripped does that the other one doesn't. But I did get off of Amazon when I ordered the Sweet Nomad. Now, this is Bill's color. I did me a color and I did Bill a color. So this is Bill's color. And then these are mine. So I, that way, when they were in the suitcase, if we put all our stuff in the same suitcase, I would know immediately which is his clothes and which is my clothes. But on Amazon, when I ordered them, I had got in this a, uh, a card and it said that if I went and gave a review on Amazon that they would send me a free card. So I went and I did the review on Amazon and then they sent me an email asking where to send my free shoe bag. So my shoe bag is in this color because it's only one per customer. I couldn't do two, but I got like this little shoe bag. For $35, for $35 I got seven pieces instead of six pieces because they sent me the free shoe bag. And when it come to Tripped, this was Bill's color and this was my color. So even when I had ordered these and tried them, I done the exact same thing. I gave him a color and I gave me a color. But if you've never tried packing cubes, they are a game changer when you're packing up your clothes because what you do is it has so you will zip this out and it expands the actual packing cube. So it makes the packing cube bigger. And you can leave it like this, but the whole point of a packing cube is you wanna pack your packing cube. And then once you get everything that you want in here, try to compress it down by zipping, where's the zipper at? There it is. But, compressing it back down by zipping that zipper back up. That can be kind of hard if you pack these two too full and it wants to grab the little in here and that's on either brand. So it's not just one, but I had learned that if I stuck my finger up under the zipper as I zipped, I had less chance of getting the zipper caught in the fabric. But yeah, these packing cubes, you can take like, like I show, like I show, like I'm gonna show you too, but you can take all these clothes that we're taking and we're gonna pack them down in just a few packing cubes in that suitcase. It's not gonna be bad full at all. When you're packing a packing cube, there's a bunch of different ways that you can pack them. One, some people will put like your outfits together and then roll them up and then put them in that packing cube. Some people put like all their pants in one packing cube, all their shirts in one packing cube. It's just your preference on how you want to pack your packing cube, but you for sure want to roll up your items and put them in your packing cube. Because the rolling, it keeps them from wrinkling as bad and it just, it packs better when you actually roll them. But once you have all your clothes in it, you just zip the second zipper up to compact it. And like I said, what I've learned, if I keep my finger under the zipper, it doesn't get caught in the, uh, the 
this because if you just try to zip it that it wants to get caught in it and like I said that's on both of them it's not just this one and it's mainly right here at the end I think it's just because you're packing everything down so much there this right here is all my clothes that I'm gonna wear this week now I know there's more here but I have like some workout clothes and my pajamas and all that. In this one packing cube, it is every outfit that I have taken to wear this week in this small packing cube. And I have way more than what I need in this packing cube. We're gonna be there six days and I probably have like eight outfits in this one cube. I know, I can't help it. That's why I like taking my camper. You know, we're trying to plan a trip coming up in the camper and I can't find any camping spots anywhere. Well, all right, let me rephrase that. I probably could find camping spots, but the places that we want to go, there's nothing available. Oh, goodness. So I have them all packed and I wish my set, my Sweet Nomad, just look at it when you buy it and see what size. Cause Bill had two big ones, a medium one and a smaller one. And I only had one big one, two mediums, and a small one. That's not fair. Because he had big ones, extra big ones that I have. My pile looks a lot worse. And I did have to add one trip in on mine. Don't judge his pile against my pile. I, I take an outfit for every day, plus a few extras. You just never know. Bill just takes a shirt for every day and a few pairs of shorts. And he's like, oh, if we need to, we can wash something. Probably doesn't help that I have, I might have like 16 bathing suits, but you never know which one you feel like. All right, I'm gonna show you this how I'll put into the uh, suitcase and just kind of show you how much room this really saves. So down here, you can see like this is all our clothes. I mean, and I've got this whole section left for my blow dryer, my shoes, and anything else that I need to put in here. And then I take our underwear bags, and I just didn't want to put these in there and let you be deceived <laughs> that they're not in here. But I just put them right here. Hold on. <laughs> I just, I put the our underwear bags, because that's what I put the, in these, our undergarment bags. And I put them up here, because they fit perfect. This is hard to do one-handed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I just put both of those up there. Before packing cubes, we would have had to take in two suitcases on this trip. And now we're gonna be able to get all our stuff in one suitcase. I love packing cubes. Now I pack Bill's different than I do mine. Mine I pack by outfit. Bill's I pack his shirts in one and his pants in another. He doesn't take like matching outfits where I take, I take this shirt that goes with those shorts. I take that shirt. Now there is a few interchangeable things, but for the most part, there's a shirt that goes with a short. All right, I'm gonna finish getting all packed up so we can head off to Destin. When you watch this video, we'll be already back from Destin. But I just, when I was sitting here packing and the things that we do for y'all, cause I had a lot of this already packed, my clothes, cause like I'm, I may or may not pack a few weeks in advance. But I unpacked all my bag, all my bags so that I could show y'all because I was like amazed of how much room we had in the suitcase and it's all because of these packing cubes. Now the Sweet Nomad for the price difference, I think they're just as good as the Tripped. I don't say the Trips are bad. They're both, I feel completely equal, but you just get way more bags with the Sweet Nomad the sweeted, sweeted nomad. Saying that wrong probably the whole time. Well, if you are not subscribed already, hey, please go subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when we upload a new video. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. That helps us out a lot. Till next time, like and subscribe.